well, I was at Tokyo Express eating with my friend. And I think I was really inspired by like the color scheme in Tokyo Express and the plants that they had and the like the neon lights specifically. And so I took two photos and decided they were stronger put together than they were separately. Nope. I might turn the contrast up slightly. I have like slightly more shadows, but I think it's okay. Nope, it was another easy one that I did, really. I think trying to get the picture within the two frames to kind of blend together is probably the only thing I really had to come across and do. I really like um, the grain on the picture. There's like some film grain on it. And I just like that uh, retro type vintage look. Retro vintage futuristic past look. I think the same thing really is that um, you don't need a setup. I took that picture with my phone. You don't need a grand setup. You don't need a great camera to make something that people like. Um, I, I started on the first half, so uh, whenever I was in Pennsylvania, whenever it would always be springtime, like there weren't really a whole lot of flowers in my yard. Aside from like that big rose bush that was always dying and a bunch of dandelions that were just thrown about the yard or the flower garden, but mostly the dandelions. So I just always kind of associated dandelions with springtime. Um, well, I kind of just finished the second part of the story, so I kind of just took the persona of the character she gave and that they have this, they see this kind of beauty in a weed versus um, the other character who's like a shop owner who's like, it has a bunch of flowers and she thinks they're all beautiful except the weed so I like uh, that she kind of set that situation up so you can show that contrast of them. Honestly, I don't, <clears throat> I don't know because like I did everything that I could with my half and I didn't really like make it so that you know, like the ending had to be concrete, like it was, it could have just gone anywhere, so. I don't think I would really change anything. Um, I guess maybe make the ending slightly more clear, in a sense. Like, uh, the character in the end buys, like, um, uh, a flower, and I don't know if that would truly be, like, the character's desire to buy that type of flower, since she came to look for a weed, but. I mean, maybe just that, but other than that, not really. Not really. Like, it, the idea just kind of... The idea just popped in my head, and I was like, okay, I guess this is what I'm going to write about, except I'm only going to write half of it, which is okay, because I can't think about the ending. <sighs> not exactly. I think I was trying to make sure, though, that... Um, the character she set up kind of continue throughout the story and to keep that up but I think that was only like the problem which I think I did okay with. <laughs> I mean <clears throat> it's exclusively in what my what I did I I kind of like describing the seasons and then I liked incorporating that like poem part about it and then, uh, for Layla's part, I like that, you know, just, the character just went out into the back and was like, I'm taking the Swede. And the shop <laughs> owner was like, why? <laughs> I mean, you can, I'm not going to stop you, but why? Yeah. And I really, I really I, liked that. I liked how, um, Zay kind of just made this character's, like, it's almost like, in a sense, stream of consciousness, but not exactly, just like, her abstract thoughts and she's like okay I'm thinking this but it doesn't really matter this is what's happening this is how I see the seasons some people see it with like allergies I see it with dandelions and I guess um, I, uh, I don't know about my part I kind of just liked how I made uh, the shop owner some like 
happy lady who just loved flowers. I think that's what I like. It's okay to like weird things. Uh, yeah, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. I mean, not everyone has their own idea of, well, everyone has their own yeah. idea of beauty. <laughs> Most people do. Yeah, so just, you know, typical things are not always fun. I yeah, don't know. and <laughs> like, if some people like lilacs and you like dandelions, who cares? You yeah. both like flowers. In the end, yeah. <laughs>